Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. So, we are going to conduct fifth tutorial on PIC 18F microcontroller with C language. In the last tutorial, we covered how one can configure a complete port uh, for input and output purpose. For example, in the last tutorial, we saw that how one can actually uh, com com configure port B as input port or output port. So uh, this situation is not true for every application. There are various application in which we need only single pin or two to three pins for input and output purpose. So uh, there is quite possibility that one need to configure a single bit uh, of a port as input or output. So in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about this specific procedure. Uh, in this figure, I have shown you the port B and we have we can observe their different eight pins. They are numbered from RB0 uh, to RB7, right? For example, I am interested in RB2 pin, right? In this pin, we want to configure this specific bit of port B as an output port, right? So remember in configuration of ports, we need, their, we need to use their control register, which is known as Fritz. So first of all, what you will do, you will write uh, the specific command for Tris register. So we're gonna write Tris, X, X indicates here B, so Tris B, because we are interested in port B. Then we will switch to small letters, bits dot Tris. And then we have to mention Tris B because we are interested in the B port and the bit, bit number would be what? Two. So this is the line that is going to access the, Tris, uh, the bit number two of Chris register for port B and we have to make it zero. Remember to make any port as output port, we have to make their control register equals to zero. Or if we want to make uh, the port as an input port, then we have to make it one. So we are going to equate it equals to zero and semicolon. That's it. Via this line, what is going to happen? This RB2 pin is has become now uh, output pin. And now you can expect that whatever the data microcontroller is going to send on this pin will be transmitted to external world, right? So how one can send, for example, I want to send here data zero. So for that, for port, uh, we have to use this specific uh, architecture or this specific syntax, right? So let me write it for you as well. So command will be port b bits dot rb. Remember, in case of Chris, we don't need to write r, but here we have to write r because the designation of bit number two is rb2, right? So rb2. And what we want to make it, we want to make it zero. So what is going to happen? if we are going to write port b bits dot rb2 equals to zero so what is going to happen the status of this uh, bit will become zero or whatever the uh, connection or hardware connected to port b pin rb2 that will receive zero right we can also make it one how one uh, one can do it simply by writing port b bits dot rb two equals to one. So in this line, uh, by, by writing this specific line, what is going to happen that uh, your port will be sending data one to the external world. So this is the procedure by which uh, one can actually uh, make individual bits or pins of any specific port uh, as input or output pin, right? Uh, we, we know that by default, every port is basically uh, in input mode. So by default, uh, since I have written only these three lines, so I can simply say that uh, these uh, other lines or these other pins, let me highlight them for you. These pins are basically in input mode and only RB2 is right now in output mode. So if you want to configure any other bit as or any other pin of port B as an output port, first you have to uh, change your specific press B bits, right? So that's it from this video tutorial. If you have any confusion, please post those confusions in, com in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.